Hello and welcome back to another bloody good vaping. So today I'm going to be taking a look at another regulated box mod, but this one is a bit of a beast, and that is the GB Mark II. And the GB stands for Golden Box, and it's made by a, a UK mod maker called Jim Shorrock, who also happens to be Vaping Shozza's daddy. And a little bit of information for you there. Um, he first came onto the scene as a mod maker, I think early on last year, with the Golden Box, which was another regulated box mod. I think used the SX350, the 50 or 60 watt version. But this one is his uh, follow-up, and this, because the GB Mark II uses the SX350-100, so it's capable to go up to 100 watts. So that's between 10 and 100 watts as well. So it's a monster. It's a dual 18650 with a typical 7.4 volt charge, uh, fully charged at 8.4 volts. Uh, now these batteries work in series as well, so even though we have a USB on it, it will not charge the batteries once it's inside. That is for basically upgrades to your firmware, or or if you want to change your screen logo or things like that, so it will not charge the batteries. Now this is made from full billet 6061T6 aluminium, uh, which is then polished and bead blasted to give it that sort of um, roughage look, um, to stop it from scratching as well. We all know uh, what billets like to scratch. Also has these rather nice carbon fibre cheeks on the side. Now you will be able to um, get these customised pretty much, so you'll be able to use solid carbon fibre like this, flexible carbon fibre or Kevlar with your order. You'll also be able to get a um, sort of template tool off of Jim so that you can actually customise these how you want. So with the thousands of vinyls that are available out there you'll be able to sort of give it whatever look you want. Now this is the prototype version so uh, you can see that the uh, the cheeks actually come out a little bit. Uh, they will be flush on the production uh, model, just to let you know. Now on the top we've got a Veritube 22mm 510 con um, connector, which is uh, pretty flush with the box mod as well, so uh, your atomizers all sit perfectly straight and bang on the top of the uh, mod itself. Um, you can also use probably like a 28mm atomizer on the top as well and still have it look completely flush. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to take a quick blast now. I've got a 0.5 ohm dual coil in this, uh, I'm vaping this at 30 watts. Chucking it out. Now, I'm too pussy to go to 100 watts anyway. Uh, anyway, before I get into more details about it, what I think about it, price, etc, 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 let's go down at the table now and have a look at this animal close-up. Safe. So here you have your Golden Box Mark II, made from full billet here, polished and then bead blasted to give it this rough silver look. Also protects it from any scratching and things that you may get with billet because it is very easy to scratch. On the top you have a 22mm recessed very tube uh, 510 connector made of 303 grade stainless steel with a brass spring loaded connection pin inside as well. You also have grooves cut out for airflow in case you're using anything without any airflow. Highly uh, doubtful nowadays but it's still there all the same. On the front you have this really nice sort of plunger switch. Uh, it's not clicky, it's more of a plunge. It's really nice as well and feels great. You have your screen there with your uh, display for your chip, we'll get to that in a minute. And on the bottom here you have your USB, micro USB port. Now this is not for charging, it's uh, not also for using as a pass through. This is purely for upgrading your software or say downloading or upgrading your software, your firmware to change your logo etc etc when they come available. Uh, this mod uh, basically charges the batteries, uses the batteries in series so you will have to remove them to charge. And on the sides you'll see you have these sort of nice carbon fibre cheeks here. You'll also be able to get, this is a hard f carbon fibre, you'll also be able to get flexible or Kevlar available through Jim uh, on his website when ordering. Um, now as you can see they are sitting, they, they've risen up on this version, they will be completely flush on the production version he has informed me. Uh, this is the prototype so it still had some uh, design kinks to iron out, so they will be completely flush. You'll also be able to have the option to customise these yourself, Jim will be offering up a template for you 
you to sort of borrow or use um, with a small deposit and you'll be able to also get a template so you can add vinyls or whatever materials you kind of want on the side there to customise it for yourself. So let's have a look inside. The back is held on by uh, three 5mm neodymium magnets, uh, nice and clicky, nice and snappy, comes on and off really easily. You do have a little groove cut in the back here for your nail, and there you can see the insides. Uh, using your twin high drain batteries here, uh, he'll also be providing uh, little red dots for your batteries as well, because obviously your pluses are going to be opposite each other. Now this isn't the finished look on the insides, he's actually replaced this piece and this piece with a more of a black solid piece so you don't see any of the wiring or anything inside. I'll just show you a little picture of how the production model is going to look. There you go, so as you can see it's going to be a lot neater and a lot tidier on the insides. He does provide these ribbons here to help get these batteries in and out more safely and more easily. Um, so that's good, you won't be needing to put your nails in to pull out the batteries or breaking them or causing any damage inside. So there we go, Let's simply just put the back on with a nice snap. We come to your chip, uh, now a majority of you know how to use the SX chip so it's three clicks three clicks on, to lock it it's three clicks, two, three, it's now locked, to unlock it three clicks again, to get into your menu system it's five clicks, now we get in, now you get your templates, at the moment I'm on M4 which is my 30 watt template, so we just want to use the tilt function, so my first uh, template is 10 watts, I tilt, second is 15 watts, tilt, third is 20, fourth is 30 which I'm vaping this out at the moment and fifth is my 100 watts. Now to adjust these you just tilt it the opposite way, it will say adjust and you can then adjust your watts accordingly. Now to come out for your menu system we'll click again, we'll click one more time for system, this basically turns it on and off, click again to show you link, now they basically you'll want to turn this on once you've done some downloading, it resets your chip, We'll click again to switch the display either left or right and click again to get back to your usual settings. There we go, now I want to exit. So on the front menu of your screen, your display, you'll see your watts are at the top there. Beneath it you'll see your voltage, you also have your ohm reading there which uses double digit ohms resistance, so you'll be able to see your full resistance there, and then obviously the voltage output and your battery level, so it's a, a nice display with lots of information for you there. So there you go, that is the GB or the Golden Box Mark II, a very solid device, it's about 106mm in height, around 64mm in length, and about 32mm in depth as well. It's actually not as big as it appears, it is bulky, it is a, quite a heavy piece, it does fit nice and comfortably in the hand actually, so uh, yeah there it is, that's the GB Mark II. So there you have the GB Mark II and as you can see it's a bit of a fucking beast. Funnily enough though, it actually looks and appears bigger than it actually is. I mean the height is 106, the length is 62mm and the width is about 32mm itself. Um, so it's it just appears a lot bulkier than it actually is. I mean, it is quite heavy, it's made out of full billet, uh, it's dual 18650 as well, but I suppose if it's being used uh, like for cloud chasing and it is like a high powered box mod then you want it to be a bit weighty, you kind of want it to be a bit chunky and uh, you know look like a great big fat man really, um, I mean it, it's beautifully made and all that, it's it's not my cup of tea, in, in all honesty, and this is just my personal preference for what I like. I mean, I wouldn't myself uh, have something like this. I'm not really a cloud chaser, and I'm not into this watts race, but I know a lot of you guys are, and it's fully part of the scene. But for what it is, and for what its purpose is, I think it's it's really well made, and it's it's a very different. I mean, it is different. Let's 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 uh, be honest there now. The switch is really nice and plungy actually, it's not clicky, it's more of a plunger switch. Um, the SX chip is like all the rest, it's, it's a really really good chip, uh, I mean 
loads of options with it for setting sort of like your different uh, templates for wattage, uh, your bypass obviously to switch off your regulation um, and things like that. Um, it's, it's a shame you have to charge the batteries in series and, and not be able to use the USB but that's just down to the chip itself you know the, the USB I'm, I can't stress enough is for actually your firmware and obviously for your upgrading options if you want to change your logo on the front of the screen etc etc um, it's, it's not a pass through. Um, and like I said, I like the fact that your atomizers fit nice and flush on the top as well, and even bigger atomizers as well. If you want to use like a 28.5 or you know anything that quite a, a lot bigger that usually sort of overhangs or something like that it will still look nice and flush um, you know insides are nice at the moment they're even nicer on the production model they've uh, he's now switched all this to, to solid black um, which I showed you on the photograph on the close-up close -up. so it's nice looking in there um, he even supplies these nice little ribbons inside so it's easy to take the batteries out um, there's no metal in these ribbons either um, remember that um, so yeah magnets work flawlessly nice click it makes a bit of a noise doesn't it it's like you're trying to steal cookies out of a cookie jar uh, but yeah it's a uh, it's a solid solid piece just take a little blast now Beastie, that's at 30 watts. I, I, I dread to think what this thing could do if it's really pushed to the limit uh, now the price on these now he's doing a list on these on his website I'll put the link in the description there's gonna be about 50 of them um, I don't know if he has any plans to make any more than that it's quite an expensive process to make these obviously with the billet used as well and the, the bead blasting the carbon fiber etc etc um, so he's gonna be doing about 50 now the price on these is 185 pounds plus six pound shipping within the UK um, and that's not a bad price for what this thing does, uh, how, what it's made out of, you know, billet is not cheap, uh, and, and how it's put together. So yeah, £185. The link will be in the description, and uh, like I said, he's only doing about 50 so if you are interested, get in there now and try and get, yourself, try and get your name on the list. Um, yeah, so uh, there you go. I mean, maybe a cloud chaser's regulated wet dream sitting in my hands right now so if you like it if you like the look of it if you fancy one of these monsters get yourself onto the gb website and uh, try and grab yourself one of these beasts so thank you very much for watching this review and i will see you on the next one stay safe